Ready? Doctor, do you recall what records you were sent with regard to the plaintiff? Yes, I received records from Chemung County Medical Center. I have to look at my report to refresh my recollection. Did you review any deposition transcripts, by the way? I did. Those were not part of my reports, but I did see those. And, doctor, were you asked at any time, as part of your re retention in this case, to comment at all on the issues of liability in this case? No, no, sir. Did there come a point in time when you met with the plaintiff? Yes. Was he accompanied by anybody? Yes, he was. Who was he accompanied by? He was accompanied by his mother and his father. And can you tell us what process was engaged in with respect to meeting his parents? Yes, what I do is I take a history from the parents. If the child is capable, certainly I obtain a history from the child, if that's appropriate, if possible. And then I physically examine the child. The court, doctor, before you go any further, did you treat the plaintiff at all? No, I was not a treating physician. The court, proceed. I just wanted to be sure that there are no misunderstandings about that. Okay, please proceed. And how many times did you see the patient? Just the once. Did you take a history from his parents? Yes, I did. And what history did the parents give you? The history that I received from the parents was that their son was able to walk, sit, stand, and run. They commented that perhaps he ran too much, did not pay attention, p bumped into things. As he would approach a staircase, he would not slow down, that sort of thing. I need to refer to my report just to make sure I have everything. Defendant's counsel. Your Honor, may I have a voir dire on the report? I would like to see it. The court. You're more than welcome to see it, but as for examining the report now... I'll permit you to see it at the time of your examination of the witness. This is a report that is nothing more or less than something created during the course of the retention by the plaintiff's counsel, and on that basis I am going to allow the witness to use it to refresh his recollection. He cannot read it, and if it starts to go beyond that, I'll stop it. Did the parents tell you everything else? The only thing... The two items that the parents told me, he had a decreased attention span and he was quite distractible. And the final issue was that he does, does not sleep well during the night. He tends to wake up several times during the night, and that's the essence of the history that I obtained from the parents. Doctor, what causes low muscle tone? Defense counsel, objection, the court sustained. Doctor, how do muscles know how toned they should be? Defendant's counsel, objection. How do they get that information? The court. That's another question. Is that right? Plaintiff's counsel. Yes. The court. Did you understand the question that was asked? I understood the question. The court. All right, that's without objection. Go ahead. Muscle tone is modulated through the spinal cord as well as the brain center. <coughs> Doctor, based on your review of the hospital records, did you also have an opportunity in the hospital records to review the cranial ultrasound reports and the MRI and CAT scan reports contained therein? Did you read them? I did read the reports, yes. Doctor, when you come to court today to testify, do you have an opportunity to view the CAT scan of May 1st, 1997, marked as plaintiff's four in evidence? I did look at that, yes. Prior to today, had you ever seen that before? No, I did not see the film before. And, doctor, does seeing that film in any way change your opinion? Defendant's counsel objection. What opinion? The court sustained. Well, we'll get there if there is a change. Okay, fine, doctor, after your examination of Mike and the review of the records, withdraw the question. You mentioned you reviewed the records of the hospital? Yes. And what type of records were those that you reviewed? Those were from early therapy-related records. And what, if any, significance did that have to you in reviewing the therapy-related records? Well, the importance of the therapy records is that these are clinical professionals who have particular areas of expertise. And it is a matter of what they do to evaluate the child, treat the child, and gauge the deficits that the child has versus where they should be. And did those reports aid you in coming to your ultimate conclusion with regard to Matthew? Yes. And did your physical examination aid you 
in care, coming to your ultimate conclusion with regard to Matthew, defendant's counsel objection. The court overruled, yes. And that would be likewise with all the hospital records you reviewed. It is all helpful, yes. And the parental interview or the history that you took, that's very important, yes. Now, did you come to an opinion, doctor? Do you have an opinion? Withdraw the question. Let's talk a little bit about Mike. He had hydrocephalus, yes. What is hydrocephalus? Hydrocephalus is basically water on the brain, that is, a chamber inside the brain which normally has fluid, and hydrocephalus is an expansion of those chambers which become filled with fluid. And does that have any effect on his ability to ambulate without... Withdraw the question. Does that have any effect on his hypotonicity? Well, the water in the brain is actually filling space. Oh, hi, how you doing?